Hello everyone, welcome to the news from Shirok TV. In our headlines tonight, economic sectors ministers deliberate on the current situations in presence of Premier Hamdok. Social Development Organization convenes on the prospected constitutional conference. River Nile level continues being higher in some points and stable relatively in others. The cabinet held an emergency meeting in the presence of Premier Abdullah Hamdok, attended by the economic sector ministers and participants from Freedom and Change Forces. The meeting addressed the current economic crisis in the country. Alternatives and policies anticipated to positively impact the present economic situations have been discussed as well. A similar meeting is scheduled for next Monday. Constitution peace constitutes a top priority and all are demanded to participate in formulating. That's a big, 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 big gap. member of the Sovereign Council, Mohammed Hassan Taishi, he was briefed reporters on progress of peace negotiations convened in South Sudan, capital Juba. Culture and Information Minister Faisal Mohammed Saleh attended the meeting that confirmed peace is a priority and media is demanded to play a considerable role in forthcoming phase. For his part, the Ministry Under Secretary Ar Rashid Saeed said in a press release, peace issues and the deals signed recently were tackled. Flooding compared to yesterday level, the River Nile decreased while Adbara River remains stable relatively. In the meantime, Khartoum State Civil Defense and Emergency Operations Chamber pointed out to the hurricane that hit Abu Hamad locality North Sudan. The chamber warned of potential increase in the River Nile level, urging residents for adopting precautions and moving into safer areas. Gold exporters type measures to cut exchange rate and gold price have been adopted by the government recently. Applauded by Secretary General for Gold Exporters Department, Abdullah Al Magadal, the measures created balance, halting chaos and intelligent transactions, whereas the traders reinstated their activities in the relevant area. He called for further precautions to facilitate process of exported gold. A prospective meeting to sustain export policies will convene at the Council of Ministers, said Al Ghaddal. Situated 13 miles south of Port Sudan City, Sanganib Sanctuary is considered as a distinct tourist destination. Enjoying maritime nature and diving pose the most important factors that attract tourists to the island. Affluent of resources, the reserve engulfs more than 250 species of fish and other maritime creatures, as well as various coral reefs. Nominated as one of the significant international heritage sites, prompted the government to pioneer an initiative for the island preservation and promoted tourism. So far, Sudan participated in eight global expos which reflect tourism potentials, particularly the maritime one. Government and Revolutionary Front Initial Matrix of Implementation of Juba Peace Agreement 
Prime Minister Dr. Abdullah Hamdok arrived in Sinja, capital of Sinari State, today on a one-day visit to the state to show solidarity with the people affected by the floods of the Blue Nile State. Hamdok is accompanied during the visit by Ministers of Interior, Labour and Cabinet Affairs and representative of the Forces of Freedom and Change, Ibrahim Sheikh. The Prime Minister was received upon arrival at the airstrip of the 17th Infantry Division in Sinja town by Governor of Sinari State, El Mahi Suleiman, and members of the government of the state. Hamdok received the military salute from officers, non-commissioned officers and soldiers of the division and inspected the parade. Hamdok arrives in Sinja recently. And now the headlines. Economic sectors ministers deliberate on the current situations in presence of Premier Hamdok. Social Development Organization convenes on the prospective Constitutional Conference. River Nile level continues being higher in some points and stable relatively in others. That was everything for tonight. See you tomorrow.